Well, it is getting colder and colder out in central Texas, so don't be too confident when driving. There's plenty of ice on the roads. Luckily, some have been treated. Meredith Haas is live out in Temple to show us what those roads look like. Good morning to you, Meredith. Jasmine, I'm out here at 3rd Street and I-35 out in Temple, and let me tell you, Ashley is on point with that forecast because it is drizzling. I, my face is cold. Our news car is, is accumulating more water, and it is freezing, freezing, freezing. I mean, layer after layer after layer. Let me tell you about these roads, though, right? Let's take a look at these roads right here. You can see that they've been treated by TxDOT. Thank everybody right from tech stop for doing this and taking care of the roads because people are able to get to their jobs you know safely this morning but let's talk about those back roads they're probably not as safe so please do not get out on the roads especially those back roads if you do not feel confident because you might not see that black ice remember black ice you won't see it especially on the asphalt it's not as easy to see now, let's talk about road closures. Six News has been tracking so many accidents and so many road closures. Let's take a look. The city of Colleen has closed WS Young Drive Bridge from Veterans Memorial Boulevard to Atkinson Avenue due to icy conditions. Waco PD, right now they have area S Loop 340 near S 12th Street going toward I-35 closed and they have icing conditions. Now, 10 hours ago, Copper's Cove says bridges have already iced over so many accidents, so many roads closed. We want you to be safe out on those roads. Let's hear what an expert has to say. Just remember, you know, we are expecting that freezing rain. So remember those four P's, those people, plants, pets, and pipes. Be mindful of all those um, things as we come across that winter weather. If you do have to drive, please stay safe on those roads. Try to avoid if you can, but if you have to go out, slow down, drive carefully. People, plants, pets, pipes. Thank you so much for her reminding us of that. We need to remember what we need to keep safe, but we also need to remember that we need to take care of our neighbors and not just the people who live next door, but the unhoused people who are out in the streets. I'm out here and I have a full five layers on and I am freezing. So you need to remember that there are warming centers you can go to if you lose power or if you see someone on the streets. And those are in Waco, Gatesville, and I believe in Colleen. So remember, you can stay safe during this winter storm. You can find refuge and you can make sure that your neighbor is okay. Six News is going to keep you updated as we move forward in the morning. I'll be back for the last time at 630 to keep you updated. But again, for right now, the roads are good, but you better stay safe on those back roads. Jasmine, back to you in the warm studio. OK, yes, Meredith, thank you. Those roads can be treacherous. I know, Meredith, you stay safe, stay warm for everybody at home. We cannot stress enough that you should stay off the road if you can. But we do understand that some of you have to drive today, especially essential workers on the morning shift. Now here are some tips to help you out. Please make sure to have basic supplies, an ice scraper. I went to get one yesterday at Walmart, plenty in stock, water and snacks, some extra warm clothes and a blanket. And of course those jumper cables, keep them in the trunk and a first aid kit. If you want to be prepared just in case something happens to your car. Well,